Welcome to video number 8, Connecting X and Z. In this video, we're going to be putting the Z corners onto the upright frame and then using smooth rods to connect the X axis assembly so that we will have it going up and down the Z axis. So as you see me doing in the video here, go ahead and take all four of your Z corners and go ahead and fix them to the frame using the M14 screws and the M3 nuts. And uh, go ahead and get those on there nice and tight. Now on this build, I did have to use my small round file to enlarge the holes a little bit on my Z corners, uh, just enough to where the smooth rods would fit into them. This is another part of the build where it is very important not to make the hole too big. Uh, you definitely need it to stay snug. However, on my last build and this one, I either had to carefully drill the holes a size larger or take my round file to enlarge the hole. Uh, last time, I believe I used a 5 16 drill bit in order to make the hole just the right size. Also, let me say, I do not use any flat washers here, even though the original tutorial calls for it, and your hardware kit, I imagine, came with plenty of M3 flat washers. I rarely use them throughout this build. I don't really find them necessary, unless it comes down to spacing. So, for now, you can avoid using them and start kind of a collection off to the side, just in case you can find something to use them for later.
once you have all four of your corners in place like you need them, go ahead and take your two smooth rods and go ahead and fix them up through the top two holes, uh, just about halfway, just enough clearance to where you can take your X assembly and fit the smooth rods through the bearings on your X assembly. And uh, you're going to see me struggling with it just a little bit, and you shouldn't have that issue as much. But just make sure you get them through there, and then work the x-axis assembly a uh, little ways up the rods. Once you have the x-axis assembly mounted on the smooth rods, go ahead and move the smooth rods down the rest of the way to where they're fitting into the bottom Z corners. And this is where it's important that you have a good snug fit in the holes because you, you, know, you don't want the smooth rods to slide as you're moving the x-axis up and down.